What's up everyone, it's great to have you back on SFDC Ninja and today we'll be tackling another interesting trigger scenario. So without any further delay, let's get started. First, let's take a look at data model for today's scenario. So today we are going to play with two objects, account which is the parent object and opportunity which is the child object. And we have a pick list field rating on account object which contains three values, cold, warm and hot. And from opportunity object, we are going to use amount field. So this is all about data model for today's scenario. Now let's talk about today's requirement. So today's requirement is we have to update account rating field based on total amount of related opportunities. Let me make it simple for you. Let's say you have an opportunity record. Now there are three conditions in today's requirement. First condition if total amount of related opportunities is less than or equal to 50,000 then account rating should be cold. Second condition if total amount of opportunities is less than or equal to 1 lakh then the account rating should be warm. And third condition, if total amount is greater than 1 lakh, then the account rating should be hot. So this is what we are going to do today. Now let's see the approach that we are going to use to fulfill today's requirement. See, we need to update account rating based on opportunity amount. Therefore, a trigger will be on opportunity object. However, since we need to update account rating, we'll be needing account ID also. So to accomplish this, we will fetch parent account ID of each opportunity record on every operation like insert, update, delete and undelete. So fetching parent account ID will be our first step. And in next step, we will fetch all the related opportunities in a list using the account ID that we have fetched here. After that, we will store amount and account ID that we have fetched in this list in a map. And at last, we will update account rating by apply checks on value of this map. So I think that is enough for theory part. It's time to code. So let's switch to VS code and create our handler class. Let's name it TRG handler. Let's create our method. Now it is obvious that change is happening on opportunity object. Therefore, we will pass a list of opportunity as parameter in our method like this. Opportunity OPP list and in this list we will pass trigger.new from a trigger. So this list is equal to trigger.new. Now apply another check on this list. And iterate over it. Now see in update operation there could be a situation in which user changes the parent account of an opportunity record. So in that scenario we will be needing both new parent and old parent account id and to get that we are going to use trigger.oldmap. So let's pass another parameter like this. Let's say oldmap and in this parameter we are going to pass trigger.oldmap from our trigger. Now apply a null check on this map, not equals to null and let's create an instance of opportunity using this map. Let's say old opp old map dot get new opp dot id. Basically here we are using get method to fetch old version of opportunity records. Now our next step is to compare new parent account id and old parent account id of opportunity. So let's use if condition like this old opp dot account id not equals to dot account id and if this condition will get true then we will add both new and old parent account id in a set. So let's create a set to store account id like this id acc ids new set copy its name and now add ids in it dot add dot account id dot add new opp dot account id so this if condition will run when a user change the parent account of opportunity record but we also need to store account id when a user updates the amount of an opportunity. So for that what we will do, we will use another condition like this. Else if old opp dot amount not equals to new opp dot amount. And inside this else if we will add new parent account IDs. For that let's copy this line and paste it here. Now this block of code is for update operation but we also need to store parent account id for other operations. 
like insert delete or undelete for that we will use else condition here and we will copy this line again paste it here so we have parent account id of opportunity record in a set now we will use this set to fetch all related opportunities so let's apply a null check on this set like this dot is empty if you remember in approach diagram i told you that we will store account id and opportunities amount in a map so let's create a map like this map id let's say double let's name it pp total amount map double and now fetch related opportunities using this set like this opportunity list select id amount account id on opportunity where account id in our set apply a null check on this list so it is empty and iterate over it opportunity let's say opp obj here we are looping through a list of related opportunities of account now for each opportunity we will apply a check that if this map contains the account id associated with the opportunity like this if copy map name contains key opp obj dot account id and if this if condition will get true i mean if this map contains the parent account id then what we will do we will add amount of opportunities to the existing value in the map like this dot put opp obj dot account id dot get opp obj dot account id plus opp obj dot amount and if the map does not contains the account id then we will add account id as key and amount of opportunity as value for that let's use else part map name dot put dot account id pp obj dot amount let me explain this part with an example suppose we have two opportunity record amount of first opportunity is 1000 and amount of second opportunity is 2000 now initially the map we have created is empty so when the first opportunity is processed it goes to the else block because the map does not contains any key or we can say entry for the account id of opportunity hence this line is executed and this line creates a new entry in our map with account id as key and opportunity amount as value so after processing the first opportunity our map looks like this Next the second opportunity is processed this time the map already contains key or we can say entry for the account id so at that time this line is executed this line fetches the existing value for the account id from the map using this part which is 1000 and then it adds the amount of second opportunity which is 2000 to the value and put the updated value back in the map for same account id so after processing second opportunity our map looks like this this is key which is account id and this is value which is the sum of amount of these two opportunities 1000 and 2000 so we have all data that we need in our map now it's time to update account rating so for that let's iterate over ids present in a set or id let's say ids acc ids basically this set contains the parent account id of opportunity which is being updated inserted deleted or undeleted so by iterating over it we are ensuring that it only updates the accounts that are related to the changed opportunity apply a check like this if this map dot contains key ids to ensure that this map contains current account id and if this condition will get true which means if the map contains the current account id then it means that there are one or more opportunity records associated with that account now let's create a variable like this double total amount and in this variable we will store amount of all opportunities associated with this account using get method like this dot get ideas 
let's get another variable to store rating string rating and now we will create another two variables integer gold sold integer one threshold and value will be one lakh see the benefit of creating these variables is that the rating thresholds can be easily adjusted without modifying the code itself now it's time to set the rating value according to the requirement so let's use if condition like this if total amount is less than cold threshold then the rating will be cold similarly if total amount is less than or equals to warm threshold then the rating will be warm and at last if it is greater than these two values then the rating will be hot so for that let's use else part rating will be hot now we will update account record with rating value so let's create a map like this map id account Accounts to update id comma account copy its name paste it here and let's put data in it dot put ids new account id will be equal to ids and rating will be equals to this value Now this block of code will be executed if there are opportunity records present on account because this map will not be null if there are opportunity records but if there are no opportunity records present then the rating should be null so for that let's use else part here else copy this line paste it here and rating should be null so let's make it null and finally at last perform update operation on this map for that let's use if condition copy our map name apply null jack and update it dot values save it and deploy it to org okay it is successfully deployed so we have our handler class ready it's time to create a trigger so let's create a trigger name it update rating trg now see it is opportunity object that will invoke our trigger because change is happening on it that's why our trigger will be on opportunity object on every operation insert update delete or undelete but the question is with before or after so the answer is after why because we need to update related record and there is a thumb rule that if there is a need to update related record then always go with after trigger and in any other case go with before so let's cite opportunity here and let's use after insert after update after delete and after undelete and now apply a check to caller handler class method on insert and undelete operation like this if trigger dot is after and trigger dot is insert or trigger dot is undelete and let's call our handler class method trg handler trg method and for insert and undelete we will pass trigger dot new in first parameter which is list of opportunity and we will pass null in second which is map why because there is no old version of record after insertion and undeletion of a record so let's pass trigger dot new in first and null in second parameter again apply a check for update else if trigger dot is after and trigger dot is update copy this line paste it here but this time we will pass trigger dot old map in second so let's pass trigger dot old map similarly apply for delete else if trigger dot is after and trigger dot is delete copy this line again paste it here and this time we will pass trigger dot old and we will keep null in second parameter 
save it and deploy it to Oracle. Okay, it is successfully deployed. It's time to see our code in action. So let's go to Oracle. Go to details. So as of now, its rating is null. Let's insert an opportunity with amount 40,000. Click on new. Say test OPP1. Closed it, stage and amount 40,000. Save it. And now if our code is working as expected, then the rating should be cold. Go to details. See, rating has updated to cold. Let's update the amount more than 50,000. Let's make it 60. Save it. And now rating should be warm. Go to details. See, rating is warm now. So our code is working fine for both insert and update operation. Let's test it for delete also. So according to our code, if there is no opportunity record, then the rating should be null. So let's delete this opportunity. Go to details again. See, the rating is null now, which is correct. Now let's check for undelete also. For that, let's go to recycle bin. And let's restore this opportunity. Go to accounts, details, and now it is showing one value, which is also correct. So our code is working fine for every operation. But wait, there is still a scenario left, which is when the user changes the parent account. So for that, let's create another account. Let's name it test account two. Save it. Open both accounts. And let's update the account for this opportunity. Let's select test account two. Save it. Refresh this account and this account also. Go to details. So rating is null, which is correct. Go to this account. Rating should be warm, which is also correct. So our code is working fine for every operation. That's it for today, guys. And I'll be back with more interesting trigger scenarios. Thank you.